dan uh, that should be easy. So let me talk talk, talk about the uh, opening uh, stance. We talk about the Wuji stance, and it is called Wuji stance because you're not paying attention to anything specific other than generalities, like how to let your breath go free, uh, how to open the three gates, your weight sinking, uh, your attention being everywhere on the surface of your body, um, through which you can feel all the changes in your body. Uh, but at the moment when you open the three gates, because of sinking on the heels and so on and so on, you should eventually start noticing something that is the rising of the yang inside your body. That means that your body has to feel it's in developing because of the counter force of the weight sinking on the earth. You see your body going open. And then at the moment, when you are uh, standing for a while, you start noticing that the spinal column from the kidneys upward, that limb upward, starts pushing upward and starts pulling your back straight up. Uh, sometimes you feel even pushed all the way to your toes, and you feel sometimes like you know the the, the there's something trying to crawl through your through your spinal cord. This is what in uh, India is called the kundalini, right? Uh, the kundalini is then at that moment uh, causing sort of like a waving of your body, either your spinal cord or anything like that. At the moment when you are being lifted up like that, you allow it to happen. Then basically what happens is that your spinal column, the vertebrae are being lifted from each other. And it's what a chiropractor also does to you, right? So they basically, they try to create more space. And here in this case, your body tries to do it yourself. That's a function of the kidneys. It's a very important part of uh, Qigong training. It's one of the essential opening parts of for Qigong training because it brings your body into the right uh, physiological state. Then you start noticing that uh, yeah, it is the yang that is rising, right? The yang, when it rises to the Tatsui point, this is where now everybody talks about uh, in sports because they discovered that that is a distribution point of body warmth, which in Chinese medicine is a very normal statement, right? Uh, because they developed that brown fat actually is an organ and uh, this uh, is mostly working uh, on your spinal column, like something sitting on your back, right? Um, and then from there, the yang is being distributed uh, through your arms, but it's also going through your crown. And uh, you start noticing the saliva is growing, uh, your body is growing, you're staying more straight. It feels almost when you that you feel backwards and you go feel forward, right? Okay. <clears throat> Good. But normally, you stand like this uh, for nine circulations. So at the moment when you feel it's going up, you feel like, oh, okay, it's right in the middle goes down you feel that your front of your body actually really goes down and the yeah is the nine circulations one circulation 20 minutes or no actually nine circulations is that the young goes up on the back side this is alchemical talk right this is alchemical talk there's not specifically specifically uh bamboo formula chikung talk but it is because you all guy you all quite exchanged by now so i think i should uh, talk with you about it also and at the moment when it when it goes up uh then at that moment uh uh, it also returns back on the front side. And you feel the back side feels more like a force trying to push you up, but on the front side, it feels more like a weight coming from the inside. Mm. I don't know if you remember, uh, Klaas and Claudia, both of you, a long time ago, and did you do also Ermey Piku. Um, and there was this uh, thing developing Piku where there was an exercise where you really go in and you feel like there's a waterfall coming in. Yeah, like this, they were, they were they were using very different methods than uh, what we do in, uh, in these kind of styles, and um, this is basically what you're what you start noticing because this is what it's copying the movement is copying the sensation that the young comes up, and then you feel like you know, as if something is flooding inside your body, going down all the way to your belly, but also going all the way to your feet at the same time. Yes, uh, do you feel that part also when you when you're standing for some, some time? It took some too much coffee, so I was only rising, rising, rising. <laughs> yeah, that will go faster that way, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, so this is, this is basically one of the things that we want to see. So when you're standing on the opening of your exercise, actually the minimum you would like to achieve is that, that one circle actually happens. But normally uh, when you would re take serious uh, practice for yourself, you would wait for nine times. And you will see that the nine time goes faster than the first time. Right, so starts going up and then goes down, and then the second time goes a little bit faster, it goes a little bit faster until eventually you start noticing this is like a continuous movement. And what I want to try to do with, uh, with you today is to try to do this exercise and uh, only this Wu Ji stance to see if we can get so far for everybody to do this nine times and to see what's going to happen to your body. You have to keep still enough, of course, in your standing, keep your eyes open, 
Uh, if you feel uncomfortable, we you feel dizzy or something like this, because that could be for more time standing, then just to move around a bit, drink a little bit of water, and just uh, continue again. Yes? Shall we try that? The Taishui point is that the storm guide? I'm sorry? The Taishui point you, you mentioned? Taishui point. Did I mention it? Where did I mention it? Something you, you, you said. Um, Oh, that way, that way, that way. Uh, they are D H Z U I. That basically means a big, big dispersion. Yeah, so this, this is where the young is uh, dispersed. That's the seventh vertebra, the one that normally sticks out. Uh, because in this exercise, you start noticing how it is being pulled inward. At the moment when it's being pulled inward, actually everything disperses. But all, all the young channels, they have a connection point with the area around it. Actually, they connect with the collateral there, not with the, not with the tumor itself, but uh, it functions enough uh, as such. Yes? Okay. Okay, let's try. <laughs> so first start again with uh, the feet uh, together. I can watch you while you do that. Because then I can see better what's happening. The screen is a little bit bigger. And first, feel how the dungeon is there under your palm. Right? So bring your hands a little bit, make your hands a little bit active. Oh. Make your hands a little bit active, right? So your hands are standing on top of each other, but your fingers are active. Right? So that the low bone point is open. And even the middle finger uh, from both hands is a little bit pulled already. So that you actually have your hand already completely in the right format. Yes. So not too passive. That's right. Good. So pay attention to the three gates. See how far we get. Okay, standing shoulder wide. <laughs> Help yourself in standing properly on your heels. Your arms are long. You make your fingers a little bit long. Because of making your fingers long, you pull a, put a slight pressure on your joints uh, through which you make your arms a little bit longer. The palms are turned backwards, so not on the side, but really facing a little bit to the back wall behind you. So you turn them a bit. Yeah. Turn your hands a little bit more backwards, Richard. Yeah. Well, not, not your arms backwards, but your palms, your palms. Yes, 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 yeah. So they can be slightly in front of your body, that's not a problem, but uh, the palms really have to turn backwards. So they are like in an even, even field with each other. Right.
when you are feeling this moment being pushed forward, try to make sure that you rock and your heels. So don't try to let yourself be pulled into your toes. But you try to continuously sink back into your heels with your weight. So it feels like you're bamboo in the wind, being pulled on by the wind.
Okay, now you all show signs of the fact that you're like bamboo because you all have these uh, micro movements inside your body that is actually activating your body. It's really good.
All right, how does it feel? Certain point, um, I felt that the the moving came from my from my legs, from my legs up, not okay. very good. From my back. All right, very good. Further, and it wasn't um, uh, really kind of neat waves every time. Sometimes it was just a movement, and then it seemed to disappear. Mm -hmm. And it was difficult to feel uh, the front side to, to uh, let it go down. I felt the back, the, the rising uh, at the back uh, better than, than uh, uh, the lowering on the front side. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Hold on, Hans. My posture was fine. All the tensions were also there. Some At some part, when I... Uh, did my three points up, I started to smile. So I know that's fine with the tongue to the palate. But yeah. my, since I'm walking my post, I'm glad I feel my muscles of my upper leg, but now it's counter, counter affecting this exercise. So I feel the tensions in my upper legs and then my knees are not nicely relaxed, but I'm on my heels. I, um, I'm, I must admit, I, it's a little bit of a, a teaser, of course, because this exercise as an opening exercise is actually quite hidden. You, said, you see it in the Tai Chi Chuan, it comes back in some form, it comes back in uh, uh, the Tomu the, and so on. Um, but it, in fact, what I came to accept over time is that it is exactly doing what you're saying. It is uh, countering tensions. It's uh, opening up the spinal column. It's helping the muscles to open up and stuff like this. And as such, as an exercise, it is actually the best anti-aging exercise that I know so far. Yes, because it does exactly the opposite of what aging does. Aging is always contracting you, right? So every time when you do something that contracts you, it actually ages you. And every time when you make something open again, it is uh, the opposite. Uh, Tonze, uh, he talked about uh, in the flower ornament scripture, he talked about uh, uh, can you move like a bear opening and closing? And so he talked about this, right? Because at the moment when that bear goes to sleep, he makes himself small. And at the moment when he when he exercises, basically he moves, he makes himself tall. So he, like stretching, you know, you wake yourself up. This is similar like that. It's like stretching. Yes. <clears throat> but at the same time, you're stretching not just your, your muscles and, and your bones, stretching your channels, your blood vessels, your nervous system, everything like that. So all these kind of things, they all uh, are being stretched. And as a result of that, they all get activated and they start renewing uh, itself. So this is also why it is useful to stand like that longer time. Normally what I do every morning when I wake up, because at the morning when you wake up, you're stiff, right? Because of uh, the collagen that you produce um, in your body to not fall out of the tree or, or for when you are fall out of the tree, that you are a little bit protected against falling out of the tree. So then I spent uh, about 10 minutes uh, just doing this exercise. Right, uh, wide stance, so much going after that, and then I make a choice of, of uh, what to do the rest of the day because these are all exercises that make your body open, right? Uh, strengthening the um, opening up the body, and so on and so on. So, this is uh, the minimum that I every day, every day try to do when I wake up uh, for the simple reason uh, that it is uh, activating the body in such a way that you automatically have a more optimum use of your body and you become less tired during the whole day. So this is one thing that is uh, part of the bamboo formula. And this is also why I think uh, both at the beginning and the end of the bamboo formula, it has a prominent place because when you get tired during the exercises, you also start feeling that you're contracting, right? Uh, like for instance, this one, you go, oh, this is so painful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> oh, I can't anymore, I can't anymore. Yes, and uh, so with an exercise like this, uh, then it automatically becomes a little bit uh, easier. And at that moment, uh, uh, you, or you say, uh, uh, you you activate the natural recovery functions of your body. Yes, I would almost say immune autoimmune functions, but that's not what it is because it's not your immune system. It is your recovery functions in the sense that it. Uh, yeah, it basically rejuvenates your body. And by practice every day, uh, you keep your body fresh and elastic. That's basically what it is. Yeah, because it's a collagen 
call them dissolving exercise, actually. Uh, of course, in all the exercises that we do, we, we all the time talk about making long, right? So uh, you see where that comes from. It comes from the principles which you now experience with this exercise because you feel also that your arms become longer. And that brings me to the next part because there's a whole Facebook area. There's like that one particular Facebook area. They only talk about uh, Kundalini and how spectacular it is. And they compare it with all kinds of things, ayahuasca, whatever kind of stuff. So you see here, this is like a household technique, right? Uh, in uh, this in this bamboo formula, it's called standing like that. This is exactly what they describe as Kundalini. They see it as the highest of their art, and we see it as a beginning point. I thought that Kundalini, in the way described on the Facebook uh, part, is too too exciting for people, so they get lost in yeah. the effects. Yeah, because they 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 follow it, and they they it's just like. When you get uh, when you when you get aroused, sexually aroused, right? Uh, you get excited and you go further and further, and you get passionate, more and more passionate. But then you lose actually your commitment to what you're actually doing, because you're so getting so excited. You're at a certain point you lose the actual function of the activity, and then you only go to have your orgasm or something like this. Yes, and uh, this is basically what uh, people do with Kundalini. They go for the for the young orgasm, so to say, that everything goes to the head, like when they're drunk. I was this morning, I was watching a documentary about uh, the nervous system and boxing and uh, very interesting. Uh, but uh, all the actors, no actors, all the, I call them actors because they were, uh, fig they were explaining about what they were experiencing, experiencing all the people in the boxing world in that sense. They all participated in this kind of thing because, uh, uh, because they were busy with uh, uh, with the, the excitement and the adrenaline rush of the boxing, so they all went, you know, into this hyper alert state of uh, yeah, what you would basically call, call can say, uh, fear induced stress. Fight or flight. Yeah, fight or flight, fight or flight uh, experience, and they saw this as the aspect that actually. Uh, trains your brain to become hyperactive or whatever kind of thing. So this is a neural neural stimulant. Yeah. Well, in fact, uh, from things like this, you can see that indeed when things go up, you feel more excited. When things come down, uh, you feel automatically that things fall into place better. And then that rising part is actually being controlled and it starts, you know, become more like a percolating thing than actually a rising thing. My effect was... Uh... Not bad thoughts or control thoughts, but I was glad they were sinking down because they were you know, a bit cushy thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. When my posture came up, then it sank. Yeah. And yeah, well, yeah. it is. I didn't feel any kind of uh, pulling forward or anything like that. You didn't have that? Okay. No, me neither. That, that will still have to come because the young still has to become strong enough. Yeah, because then at that moment, because I saw you making this percolating movement a little bit, but then the, the young has to become strong enough that you feel like you now you're being pulled from your roots and your roots are in your heel, <laughs> right? So that still has to come. And that is that is when it becomes really exciting because then you feel like, you know, there's this little bit of wind, the breeze coming around me. And then you understand like, oh, this is where the bamboo name comes from. It's not just from the movements that are like bamboo, but the whole principle and the way of standing and everything like that. Is uh, comparing comparing to the bamboo. The next exercise is on the pier of Amuda with wind. Yeah, we can try that one time. We can go to uh, Amuda and then uh, class next time when he's in the Netherlands. We meet together. So, uh, uh, go to test. We go to Tesla stand on the top of a dune or something like this. <laughs> yes. Or uh, we can just move to the center of the United States and we wait for a typhoon to pass by. Susanna is also nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, I think uh, that's actually it for today. We're going to prepare them for the yoga class. Uh, everybody here is going to be for the yoga class? No, it's our day to get her off, so I have to compromise a bit. Yeah, sure, I understand. Uh, uh, what you can best do is that you lock up your girlfriend in the bathroom and then uh, yeah, I will say so. Yeah. Like, you just you just go clean yourself up and you know make yourself very in the beautiful me in the bathroom. Yeah. No, no, my, my wife always in the bathroom to do that. 